friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I am doing my end of year haul. So, I've accumulated a lot of books since my last book haul. I attempted to do a book buying ban. That did not work. So, I decided to do a video on just all the books I've acquired for the end of this year. And yeah, <laughs> we're just gonna go from there. So, there are a lot of books. So I'm not planning on giving full descriptions because this would take a very long time. So the first book I have is The Life of Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. It has the tropes of fake dating, grumpy sunshine romance. The main character is very quirky. It is centered in the world of academia. Next I have Part one and part two of Lola and the Millionaires. This is a reverse harem. Next, I have The Righteous by Renee Adier. Uh, I know this is from Pippa's perspective, which is Celine's best friend, but that's really all I know about it. Next, I have The 1619 Project by Nicole Hannah-Jones. This takes a look into the history of slavery and just the deep dive into it. Uh, so far, I haven't read it, but I've heard it's really it's a really interesting project, so I'm excited to check it out. Next, I have Oddball by Sarah Anderson. This is a Sarah Scribbles collection. I just really always love her graphic novels. Next, I have Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. I don't really know much about this. I just know it's a historical fantasy, so I'm just gonna go with that. Next, I have The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. I have two more of her books in this pile because I just went ahead and grabbed those since I was gifted this one and I eventually want to just read all of them. Maybe I'll do a vlog about it. Don't really know what these are about so I'm very intrigued to see what happens. Next I have the box set of the Hunger Games. Um, I think I want to do a special video for this so I just went ahead and grabbed it. If you don't know what the Hunger Games is then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you should definitely look them up because these are so popular. Next stack. So I have The Princess Will Save You by Sarah Henning. This sounded really intriguing about a girl who has to go save the love of her life. I liked the reverse aspect of this. It, instead of the prince going to save the girl, it's the princess going to save the guy. Next I have the fairy loot edition of Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. I don't really know much about this, but uh, this edition is just so pretty and so it made me really excited to um, read it. Next, I also have the Fairloot edition of These Hollow Vows by Lexi Ryan. This also sounds intriguing. I don't remember what this one is about either, but I know it's a YA, I think kind of a dark fantasy almost, but I am here for it. Next, I have After by Anna Todd. Um, Aaron kind of convinced me to get this and by she convinced me I watched her like rave about it constantly so I decided to give it a try don't know if I'm gonna like it but next I have Ghost Squad by Clarabelle A. Ortega I can't remember what this is about but I've heard so many people say it's such a cute read so I went ahead and just grabbed it especially because it was part of Barnes & Noble's um, buy one get one fifty so Next, I got volumes two and three of Heartstopper. I've already read these, but I wanted to get my own copies so that way I can just love these characters and reread them whenever. Um, this is about Nick and Charlie who start out as friends and then develop more interest in each other. And it's just cute. And I love the fact that they develop such a, a strong friendship and then relationship. And then also I love that their friend group just continues to grow with such diverse people and such like fun and cool personalities as well. Next I got 13 Riches by Jolene Anderson. I think this is about a girl who has to save her mother from a witch's curse. Next I have Stolen Songbird by D Danielle L. Jensen. I read her Bridge Kingdom duology and I really liked it so when I saw this in Barnes & Noble I just went ahead and snagged it because it sounded interesting and I figured I would give it a try and see if it, I like any of her other books. Next I got Lair of Dreams, which is the sequel to The Diviners. I haven't read that one yet, but when I saw this at Barnes & Noble, I just went ahead and grabbed it because I really like these new covers. Next I have The Shoddy Setup by Lily Vale. So I really enjoy stories that involve Indian culture and matchmaking. So I saw this and it sounded really interesting. It's about a girl, I think her mom tries to set up her up with like an old high school enemy or just acquaintance. Not really sure, but I'm excited to check it out. 
Next I have Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune. Um, I don't remember what this is about, but so far I really enjoyed House in the Australian Sea as much as I read of it, and I figured I would go ahead and snag his new book as well. Next I got Fortuna Sworn by KJ Sutton. I think this is a recommendation from Cell and maybe even Aaron. They said to check it, check it out, so I went ahead and just grabbed it. Next I have The Heart Principle. This is the book of the month edition. Um, again, don't know what this is about, but I heard good things about her books in general, so I just went ahead and grabbed it. Next, I have She Who Rides the Storm by Caitlin Sangster. This was sent to me by Simon Teen, so thank you to them for this. I don't really know what this is about, but I was intrigued because the cover looked pretty and it's a chunker, so I'm here for it. Next, I have The Jasmine Project by Meredith Ireland. This is was also sent to me by Seventeen, I believe, so thank you to them for this. I believe this was about a girl whose family decides to uh, set her up on some blind dates. Uh, and it sounded really interesting, so I'm excited to see if it's good. Next, I have the Fairy Loot edition of Jade Fire Gold by June C.L. Tan. So I actually had been eyeing this book for a while, but I kept putting it off to buy it, and now I'm glad because I got the Fairy Loot edition and I don't need two copies. But this edition is really pretty, first of all. Um, I believe this is about a boy who's trying to take back his kingdom, and he gets entangled with a girl who could help him do it uh, because of whatever circumstance that surrounds her. So I'm definitely intrigued to see what's up with it. Next, I got um, Our Violent Ends by Chloe Gong. This was sent to me by Simon Teen as well, so thank you to them for this. This is the final edition. I haven't read Our Violent Ends yet, but I plan on reading it soon just to see if it's as good as everybody says it is. And then if it is, I can move on to the second one, so I'm glad I have this already. Next, I also have the arc of Our Violent Ends from Simon. They sent me the arc and the hard copy, copy edition, so uh, thank you to them for this. I just wanted to throw this in there. Next, I have the arc of, whoops, all of Us Villains by Amanda Foody and Christine Lynn Herman. I adored this book. I loved it so much. Please check it out if you can. It should be out on shelves by now. So yeah, I loved it so much. I also got the hard copy of the book as well because I loved it so much that I went out and bought an edition so that way I could support the authors. So here you go. But next I have Grimoire's Girls by Laura Pohl. Uh, I kept seeing Source Fire or I think it's Source Fire, that Source Books Fire. I think that's who published this. I kept seeing them post about this book and it sounded really interesting. So when I went to Books Million, they actually had it on their shelves. So I went ahead and just snagged it. Next, I have Little Thieves by Margaret Owen. Um, I've never read a Margaret Owen book. I do own The Merciful Crow, so I'm hoping to check that out and gauge her writing and see if I like it. So this is also another one that I'm hoping to gauge as well. This sounded interesting. I think it's about like, Green women or something, I don't know. Next I have Bar Girls by Rebecca Kim Wells. I think Simon also sent me this one as well, so thank you to them for this this, this book also. <laughs> I don't really remember what this is about. I think it's something about a girl who's cursed or something. Next I have Sisters of Sword and Song. This by Rebecca Ross. This uh, was a Barnes & Noble buy one get one 50, and it sounded really interesting. I think it's about like two sisters who uh, were separated and they reunited and some stuff happens. So I'm intrigued to check it out. It sounds like it's gonna be a really good story. Next, I bought this on a whim because I just randomly got to urge to do it because I would like to reread these. But I got the box set of the Spiderwick Chronicles um, by Holly Black and Tony Dieterlizzi. So I'm um, hyped for this. I loved these books when I was a kid, so I would like to reread them hopefully and just to kind of see if they're as good as they were back then. Um, I know Disney Plus is also doing a TV show based off this, so I kind of wanted to read them before that show comes out. Not that they have a date or anything yet, but I don't know. I was thinking ahead of the game. Next, I have The Color of Dragons by R.A. Salvatore and Erica Lewis. This sounded really interesting. I can't think of the plot right now. But I saw the dragons in the cover and I was like, you know what, this sounds up my alley, so I'm gonna just go ahead and snag it. 
Next, I have White Smoke by Tiffany G. Jackson. Um, I was at a black-owned bookstore in Maryland, so I had to buy something. And technically, this wasn't really on my list of wanting to read because I'm not really into horror. But I went ahead and snagged it just in case because I know Monet was really excited to read this. And based off if she likes it, then I hope I like it too. I still haven't really read any of Tiffany Jackson's books, but I have them. <laughs> so I don't know what's wrong with me, but hopefully I'll get to it soon. I know this is about a girl I think who moves into like a haunted house or something like that. So spooky. Next I got So This Is Christmas by Tracy Andreen. This is about a girl who hy basically hyped up her hometown of Christmas and one of her classmates from her boarding school decides to spend his Christmas there and so she basically I guess has to convince him that this is the best town ever. Next I have Catch the Light by Kate Sweeney. This one sounded like an interesting read. It's about a girl whose father just died and they move to a new city and so she has to deal with her grief but also deal with the fact that she may be falling in love with somebody else even though she has a boyfriend. Next I have Never Saw You Coming by Erin Hahn. I've loved Erin Hahn's books so far. You'd Be Mine and More Than Maybe were some of my favorite reads so I'm excited to check this out and see if it's one too. I know it involves um, two teens who maybe are interested in each other and then I know it involves the idea of religion and the like trauma from it I think but I'm not positive so don't quote me on that. So uh, the next book I have, If It Makes You Happy by Claire Kahn. This is also one I bought from that black owned bookstore. Um, this cover is just gorgeous. I cannot remember exactly what this book is about, but I remember seeing the cover and seeing like a black girl on it and I just could not resist getting it. Next, I got girl, Black Girls Must Die Exhausted by Jane Allen. This is also what I got from that black owned bookstore. Um, I think this is about the commentary that black girls kind of have to do everything so i think this girl becomes like a mom or a wife or something and she has to deal with the expectations i can't remember exactly but i think it's along those lines next i got the bride test by helen huang so i basically have her trifecta here right now I'm hoping to get to it soon i think this one's aaron's favorite which is why i got it so We'll see if I like it. I went on a spree and I bought a bunch of Jill Shalvis books. So I bought Rainy Day Friends, Almost Just Friends, The Summer Deal, The Forever Girl. I grabbed these because her romances are kind of like a... I don't know, they're like cozy romances almost and I really like the vibes that she gives off with her writing and her characters. So I just went ahead and bought like her entire backlist because they just sounded fun and like an easy read and like a, again a cozy read that I could just kind of slip in between maybe like some of the fantasy books I own and stuff. So I'm excited for these because they sound really good. Next I have the physical copy of Laura Olympus by I think it's Rachel Smith. So I did not gonna lie I bought this based off the colors and the bare knowledge of what it was about and then I read it and I was like wow this is a little more risque than I expected it to be but I don't hate it. So I know it's a, uh, a Hades and Persephone retelling. It's kind of all I know because I'm only like maybe a quarter through the book which is fine but look at these these colors are so gorgeous and the whole book is just like this and so I just couldn't resist not getting it because again I'm a sucker for a graphic novel with good colors we have two more stacks I promise and then I'm almost done okay so next I got Bear in the Nightingale by Katherine Arden this sounded interesting uh, some people I've heard say it's boring some people say it's good but it's short so I thought it would be an interesting read and maybe like a good jump into adult fantasy more for me so we'll see next I have an arc of League of Liars by Astrid Schultz this was sent to me from Penguin and the author so thank you to them for that um, I am on the street team for this book this comes out February 2022 so I'm hyped for it I know it has a prison escape a bunch of teens trying to like change the system or something so it just sounds really interesting and I'm here for it next I got none shall sleep by Ellie Marnie this was a buy one get one fifty at Barnes and Noble I know it's about two teenagers who are experts in teen serial killers and they help the FBI solve cases and interview old old uh, murderers and stuff like that and they get wrapped up in a current case happening 
in this book. Next, I have The Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I also have a signed copy that Erin got me, so thank you to her for that, because well, I love books signed by my favorite authors, and it's the only book I have signed by her, so that's that's awesome for me. Um, but yeah, this is the sequel to An Inheritance Games, so... Next, I have an arc of Vespertine by Margaret Rogerson. I have never read a Margaret Rogerson book, but I do own An Enchantment of Ravens, so I would like to be, read both of those at some point and see if she's as good as an author as people say. I know this is about a nun who has to pair up with a benevolent being to basically save her world. Okay, so next are all fairy loot editions. So I have the fairy loot edition of Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim. This is such a gorgeous copy. I can't remember what story, but I know it's like a, it's an Asian inspired retelling of a fable. And I don't know, it just sounded really interesting. So I'm glad Fairloot did this. Next, I have the Fairloot editions of Spin the Dawn and Unravel the Dust, which is also by Elizabeth Lim. I kind of wanted these because I want to read these because they sound interesting. I believe this is about a girl who wants to be a tailor, but in her society, in her world, men are the only ones allowed to really be tailors, so she has to disguise herself as a man in order to even be able to take part in the competition that's happening in her book. So it sounds really interesting, but I also wanted these because they, they kind of match the Six Crimes and Craves cover as well, so I love a matching set. Speaking of matching sets, the next set I got is the From Blood and Ash uh, Fair Loot set by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I couldn't resist because I really enjoyed the first two books and I thought the third book was okay. But also these are just so gorgeous and they're all like this. I'm not going to unwrap all of them because that'll take time. But they're all like this and I just, I can't, I couldn't resist. They were just too pretty and I had the money so I just, I went for it. So these are my pride and joy now. If fire happens, these might be the things I have to reach for first. Okay, so next I have The Dead in the Dark by Courtney Gowd. I think this is a copy sent to me by Wednesday Books. So thank you to them for this. I really wasn't expecting it, but I'm excited to check this out. I think this is about a haunted house. I'm not sure what it's about, honestly. Please don't take my word for that. Next, I have The Keeper of Night by Kylie Lee Baker. I believe this is about a girl who is a mix between, I think, a Grim Reaper and a Shinigami, and she doesn't really feel like she fits into either world, so she makes a deal with a death god or a death demon or something, and it basically, I think, comes back to bite her in the butt. So I'm hyped for this because as someone who's also mixed and like has dealt with these feelings before, I feel like I could relate to the character on some level. So I'm interested to see where the story goes. Next, I have Silver Witch by Paula Braxton. So this was a Secret Santa gift that I got from my friends. Um, so I'm here for this. Uh, it is about a girl who lost her husband and she moves to this cabin and magical things start happening. Next, I got uh, A Fate of Wrath and Flame by K.A. Tucker. This is a fantasy romance. I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about this. I don't really even know what it's about, but Monet and Cell both enjoyed it, so I went ahead and just put it on my wish list and my secret Santa get, sent it to me, so I'm here for this. Next, um, two more gifts for my secret Santa. I also got um, The Memory Thief, by Lauren Manzi. This sounded really interesting. It's about a society who basically uh, profits off memories. So you can sell or buy memories or take memories. And it, it just sounded really interesting. It's about a girl who has to basically be a memory thief. And I also got uh, Courting Darkness by Robin Lefevers. So I need help. I don't know if this is a sequel from like Grave Mercy or if this is a spinoff. So if you could let me know in the comments, that would be great because I can't tell. Because if it's a spinoff, maybe I'll read it. If it's not, then I won't read it yet. But yeah, I don't really know what this is about either because I'm afraid to read the synopsis because I'm afraid it's a, it's a sequel. Next, so I went to a local secondhand store by my mom's house and which I didn't know existed until my cousin showed me it so praise her for doing that also hate her for doing that because now my wallet but I um 
managed to find the majority of the uh, Chicago Land Vampires OG series. Like, I think this is like maybe one through eight. Um, there are a couple in between that I'm missing that I need to get from Amazon. But look at how well I did. I was so excited when I started finding all the books because I read the first one and the second one like a few years ago and they were both really good and I just never continued on because life and time but I am making it a mission to continue these books because they were really good for on the last stack guys I promise okay so next I have the Ark and the Fairy Loot uh, edition of Beasts of Prey by Iona, Iona Gray. I don't know if I even hauled this last time. If I did, then I'm sorry you're seeing a repeat. If I didn't, then I got this. <laughs> but first of all, I love this book, so you should definitely go buy it. It's so good. Um, second of all, let's talk about this Fairloot edition. It's so pretty. Um, and third of all, you should just read this book. That's it. Next, I got an Arc of All My Rage by Saba Tahir from Penguin. So thank you to them for this. Saba Tahir did one of my favorite series, and then Ran the Ashes. So I'm definitely intrigued to see how she does with the contemporary. Next, uh, Simon sent me Aristotle and Dante Dive into the Waters of the World, which I know is the sequel to Aristotle and Dante Discovers the Secret of the Universe. I'm going to be honest, I haven't read the first one. I think they sent me the first one. So thank you to them for both of those. Um, I'm hyped to read them at some point because I know everybody loves this duology or at least the first book so next I have uh, the blacksmith queen by G.A. Aiken I believe this is a fantasy romance um, it's about a blacksmith whose sister is chosen to be the next queen and she's not here for it because people are basically gonna start like threatening to kill her and stuff like that so she basically has to become her sister's guard next I have the vanished queen by Elizabeth Campbell I believe this is a, like a fantasy about um, a queen who goes missing and a girl who decides to I guess solve the mystery of where the queen went next I have fury born by Claire Legrand this is about two women from different points in time and they have to deal with their destiny. Next, I have The Invisible Library by Genevieve Cogman. This is about um, a woman who works for the library corporation and they go throughout time to basically take um, important documents or artifacts and keep them hidden to like protect the world. And she's on a mission to um, take this artifact and discovers that it's already been taken. So she had to just figure out where it is and who took it and get it back. Next, I have A Psalm of Storms and Silence by Roseanne A. Brown. This is the sequel to A Song of Wraith and Ruin. I enjoyed the first book. Hopefully, we're going to enjoy this one. Um, it's about two teens who basically had to uh, kill each other in order to save the people in their lives. Last book. So the last book I got is A Shadow in the Ember by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I actually originally got the paperback, but me and Erin traded because she got this one. And all my books are in hardback and hers are in paperback, so yeah. But um, this is the spin-off, the prequel to a From Blood and Ash series. So I'm definitely intrigued to see how this goes. This is supposed to be about the original um, Maiden and uh, her story and how things got to the point that they did in From Blood and Ash. So I'm here for it. All right, so that was my haul. I'm so sorry this took so long. I'm so sorry I didn't really go into detail about the majority of these. Um, I encourage y'all to look them up on Goodreads because they did all catch my interest for one reason or another and I'm very excited to read them and if I haven't already and yeah. So if you liked the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave that in the comment section. Let me know some books that you've recently acquired. I'm hoping the next year I can learn self-control, but we'll see. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You are also followers in a world full of weeds.